the largest of all living cat species. The tiger is endemic to the Indian subcontinent, the Indo-Chinese Peninsula, Sumatra, and the Russian Far East. They are apex predators, hunting large and medium-sized ungulates, living a life of solitude, and surviving in less than 6% of their original range. But could they survive in another era? Here we ask the question, could tigers have survived in the Jurassic era? 199 to 145 million years ago, the world was embraced by the Jurassic era. It was a period during which the Earth underwent a massive amount of change. The climate and scenery dramatically shifted as the supercontinent Pangaea broke up and drifted apart, forming seas and mountains as it did so. The northern half, called Laurasia, split off and later broke up into North America and Eurasia. Then, by the middle of the Jurassic period, the southern half of Pangaea, called Gondwana, also split apart. The eastern portion, comprising of Antarctica, Madagascar, India, and Australia, split from the western half, which contained Africa and South America. The movement of these huge land masses not only shaped the surface of the Earth, but also had a direct effect on the climate. As mountains pushed up from the seafloor, sea levels rose, covering the fringes of the continents and shrinking the size of the land. It transformed them from the arid deserts that were reminiscent of the earlier Triassic period into warm, humid, and tropical forests. Where the land was brown and dry, it now became green and lush. In the seas, Plesiosaurus dived beneath the waves. Giant sharks hunted smaller fish, and marine crocodiles swam alongside Ichthyosaurus and squid-like cephalopods. In the warmer waters and humid climate coral reefs, sponges and plankton flourished in the shallows. The earliest birds took to the skies. Archaeopteryx swooped through the air alongside pterosaurs. On land, dinosaurs, which had emerged during the Triassic era, continued to dominate the landscape. Some of the largest dinosaurs to have walked the Earth, Brachiosaurus, 52 feet or 16 meters tall, and Diplodocus, 90 feet or 27 meters long, fed on the vegetation that was now covering the planet. Predatory meat eaters such as Allosaurus were always on the lookout for an easy meal, but mammals were few and far between and it would be more than 150 million years before the earliest forms of tigers emerged on the planet. But could tigers have survived amongst Brachiosaurus and Diplodocus? It was certainly a very different world from what it is today, and to understand whether an animal could have survived, at the very least, we need to look at the climate, habitat, and diet that was on offer back then. The climate during the Jurassic period was around 5 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius warmer than it is today. There were no ice caps, and forests grew close to the poles. There would certainly have been a large expanse of wilderness for tigers to roam during the Jurassic period, either on the more northern landmass of Laurasia or the southern landmass of Gondwana. But would there have been any food for them to eat? Tigers are hyper-carnivores. They eat a variety of prey. They typically take wild deer such as samba deer, as well as wild boar. They are also large enough and powerful enough to take down the likes of water buffalo and gaur, as well as opportunistically consume small prey such as ground-dwelling birds, small mammals, monkeys, and fish. Although these species wouldn't have been around during the Jurassic era, small mammals were beginning to thrive. These largely consisted of small forms, weighing a few hundred grams. They resembled shrews and mice. The largest mammal at the time was called Castorocata. This looked a bit like a cross between an otter and a beaver, and it behaved a bit like a platypus, living a semi-aquatic life, propelling itself through the water with a flattened tail and feeding on fish, using its curved teeth to secure them in its jaws. But it was small, from fossils. It was expected to have weighed a maximum of 800 grams, or 1.7 pounds. This would hardly have fulfilled the appetite of a hungry tiger. But would the tigers have preyed upon some of the smaller dinosaurs that were around? Probably. Not all dinosaurs were giants, and although the huge allosaurs were at the top of the food chain during the Jurassic period, there were smaller dinosaurs around too. One, which was only recently discovered, fills the evolutionary gap for Tyrannosaurus rex. The T-Rex, it seems, had humble beginnings. 
Before it became the giant that dominated the landscape during the Cretaceous period, its predecessors were much smaller and much faster. They were about the size of a mule deer, weighing around 78 kilograms and 172 pounds. It was called Moros Intrepidus, or Omen of Doom. No one can know for sure just how fast these dinosaurs were. Would a modern tiger have been able to catch them? They probably wouldn't have been able to outrun them. But tigers are classic ambush hunters, rather than masters of pursuit. The world was covered in forests. Flowering plants and grasses didn't exist, so there weren't any wide open plains. If Moros Intrepidus, the mini Tyrannosaur, was a smaller size to tiger's modern day prey, then they could have been potential food. But these Tyrannosaurs were meat eaters and predators themselves. The tigers wouldn't be used to prey that fought back so ferociously. To make use of the prey on offer, the tigers may have to change their behavior. There's no knowing whether a tiger would be strong enough to take down some of the smaller dinosaurs, or whether there would be any difference in digesting reptilian prey rather than the mammalian prey they are used to. Although tigers are generally considered solitary hunters, they have been observed hunting in groups or pairs to take down larger prey. This is the kind of behavioral shift they may have to make to make the most of the powerful and agile dinosaurs on offer. So, what about climate? Could tigers have survived the environmental conditions of the Jurassic period? Today, there are six subspecies of tigers still alive. They live in a range of climates. Siberian or Amur tigers live in some of the most coldest places on Earth. They have adapted by growing extra thick fur and possessing a thick layer of fat. This subspecies would not have survived the hot, humid conditions on Earth during the Jurassic. There was no snow or ice cover 145 million years ago, and Amur tigers would likely have overheated in the warmer climate. In contrast, the Bengal tiger thrives in the hot, humid forests and wetlands of India, Bangladesh, Bhutan, and Nepal. The Bengal tiger may have survived the climatic conditions of the Jurassic era. It wasn't until the dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago at the end of the Cretaceous period that mammals were able to thrive. There was a reason tigers didn't exist back then. The dinosaurs and reptiles dominated the earth. The mammals that did exist were mostly tiny, herbivorous, and insectivorous, and didn't compete with the dinosaurs. They largely went unnoticed sometimes providing food for the smaller predators around at that time. It was only after the Cretaceous period that the mammals were able to evolve and grow in size and into the vast array of wildly different species we have on Earth today. Throwing a tiger in the mix during the Jurassic era would have certainly changed the ecosystem and would have caused a significant amount of competition, as both tigers and dinosaurs could have hunted for the same prey. We don't think that tigers would have been able to survive. There was meat available, but the meat sources were vastly different from what tigers eat and hunt today. Not only that, but there are many other things to consider when asking the question if an animal could survive in another time period. Tigers have their characteristic color and patterns, famous the world over. The black stripes aid in camouflage in the long grass. During the Jurassic period, there were no grasses, so these stripes may not have served their full purpose. Furthermore, the orange color is thought to be a response characteristic to its prey. Tiger's prey is dichromats, meaning they only see in two colors. This gives the tigers the ultimate camouflage. As to a deer, they look green and therefore blend in perfectly with the grass and surrounding greenery. Were any of the Jurassic dinosaurs dichromats? If not, then the millions of years of evolution that have molded the tiger into an incredible, stealthy, and successful hunter would be ineffective. In fact, scientists have discovered that many dinosaurs had excellent color vision, similar to ours, and some could additionally see an ultraviolet light. The orange coat of a tiger would have easily been spotted against the green ferns, conifers, and cycads of the Jurassic. In summary, we don't think that tigers could have survived during the Jurassic period. The world has changed too much since then, and the world during which the tiger evolved was vastly different from the land of the dinosaurs. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.